What's going on guys? Today we're going to do a quick suppressor test. We have uh, truly been blessed by the suppressor Santa Claus here and been sent a couple of different suppressors here that we have not shot yet. So these are the very first shots through these new suppressors and I also have one of our older ones here that we really like to compare with. So the first one is the CGS Group Hydra AL. This is one of the best priced cans on the market. Pretty insane how cheap this one is. Been a very great can. We use that on just about everything. The next one is the BDE-22. This is from PWS, so Primary Weapon Systems. Uh, brand new 22 can that we just got. Super excited to test this one out and see how it does today. Another new one we have is the Resilient Jesse's Girl Suppressor. So this one has a very unique look to it and kind of sets itself apart from the rest little bit different size as well so it is a little bit shorter than these other three i wonder if that's going to contribute to any of the decibel reduction at all and then last but not least we have the mojo 22 this is from kinetic suppressors and this was a insane deal that we happened to come across a couple weeks ago i think dealer cost on this was just over a hundred dollars so for us this is a hundred dollar suppressor so we're going to test the hundred dollar suppressor out against all of these and one thing the $100 suppressor has that nothing else does is already comes with a wad equipped. If you guys don't know what a wad is, this is like a little piece of rubber that is going to make this thing extra quiet. So pretty excited to try this. Uh, we're going to save that one for last because we do want to run a just a subsonic round first compared to these other ones because we do want to pop that wad out and see how quiet that thing truly is. I think it's got a little bit of an unfair advantage compared to these other ones because of that sole reason. Now, if that affects accuracy and everything, we will find out. But what we're gonna do, guys, I've got three mags loaded up with six different kinds of ammo for the Tipman Arms 22 here. This is a 16 inch rifle, gonna be pretty quiet already, but with the suppressor, it should be uh, very nice for your guys' ears. But we are shooting, uh, starting off with arms core this is stuff that is moving i think about 12 to 1300 feet per second second one we have cci mini mags in here these are moving about 1200 feet per second as well third kind of ammo here is the uh, federal i believe these are 40 grains so these are about 1200 with some norma tac 22 underneath that and then we're going to end it with some cci quiets and some winchester super suppress so we've got Basically, two supers, two in the middle of the road there, and two subs that we're going to try and just kind of compare a few shots with each one here. So let's start off with the good old faithful CGS group. And what we're going to do is just we're going to work our way down the line, shooting three of each ammo here. And we've got a microphone set up in front of us, and we have a microphone on our body, so we should get a decent amount of good audio from this that you guys should be able to tell if there is any difference. All right, so first three rounds are arms core, high velocity. And we're just going to shoot in the dirt, dirt so that you guys don't have any uh, extra audible kind of throwing off the sound out here. Okay, so first shot. Okay. We are clear because that was three shots. That was the CGS group. Now we have the BDE from PWS, Primary Weapon Systems. It's nice too, guys, because all these are direct thread, so almost all your 22s are already set up with that half by 28 thread pitch, so you should be able to just go right into it and put it on whatever of your 22s that are threaded at home. So that's pretty nice. Arms core again. Okay. Good old Jesse's girl. All right, next up guys, we have the Jesse's girl from Resilient Suppressors with the arms core high velocity. All right, now before we jump into the 
last mojo here, we got to try something super special with this one, okay? This is got the wad in it, and we're going to shoot the quietest ammo that I know that I have. All right, on this one particular one, we're going to shoot subsonic HP from RWS. I even feel bad shooting this one shot because this is my only box of this ammo. <laughs> and then we have three of the arms core right after that. So we just want to take advantage of this wad because it won't uh, have a non-shot through in again for a while. So I believe this is going to be very satisfactory. <laughs> Did you shoot? <laughs> The spring back here in the buffer was louder than the actual uh, gunshot. That's pretty crazy. Uh, no. It, so we did have a jam with that, which is to be expected with uh, some subsonic 22. They do have a lot of issues cycling those. The best I have found has been uh, CCI standards. Those are really good moving at about 1,100 feet per second. All right. Arms core with the Kinetic Suppressors Mojo 22. Three shots. I think that was pretty quiet compared to the rest. Oh, yeah. All right, so that was our first type of ammo that is high velocity from Arms core. The next stuff we have in here is the, uh, what was this one? This is the. CCI mini mags. Thank you. <laughs> Vinny back there with the clutch move. So CCI mini mags, three shots with this one moving roughly 1260 feet per second. Definitely louder. Did have a malfunction there guys. This gun is super dirty. So, I don't think we're going to be shooting that one. <laughs> but, we get the point on that one. So, let's not have to reload another round here. That was pretty good for the CCI Mini Mag. So, now let's try it. We'll just go backwards here now. This is the Jessie's Girl from Resilient. Okay. CCI Mini Mag. Three shots. Okay. It's hard to tell from back here. Can you tell a difference? I can tell a difference between ammo, but not really between suppressor yet. Yeah, uh, not so much on the suppressor. Definitely on the ammo, though. All right, now we got the BDE from Primary Weapon Systems. Three shots, CCI mini mag. Killing me, Smalls. All right, one more shot, Primary Weapon Systems BDE 22. And then, Old Faithful here, the CGS group. Hydra. Three shots. CCI mini mag. And that's our first mag. All right. Next up, we have Federal, 40 grain. These are moving about, uh, I want to say 1,200 feet per second, so a little bit quieter. And then we're going to run through these four uh, suppressors with that, three shots each. And then we have, we have Federal and then uh, Norma, 22. All right, three shots. Definitely not as snappy.
Those did cycle good. CGS group. One thing I'm noticing, man, is 22, it's hard to be different. Like on the suppressor aspect, you know, there's not a whole lot going on in these. I mean, there's let me so much, rephrase that. There's so much space you can work with, too. Correct. So, you know, it's almost just getting redone and redone and redone. There's not like this ultra uber new technology with 22s. It's just, you know, 22 cans. But hell if it isn't one of the funnest ones to shoot suppress. That's why they're 100 bucks. Yep. <laughs> Three shots, federal. Jesse's girl with federal 40 grain. Three shots. And then last with the federal, Mojo 22. Yeah, that wad's gone. <laughs> well, I guess that's what they mean when you blow your wad. We blew our wad on the Mojo 22. Yeah, baby. Three shots. All right. Next up is the Norma TAC-22. I've actually been pretty impressed with this ammo. I don't know if it's because of the fact that they lube it in Vaseline before they give it to you, but that stuff runs pretty dang well. So Norma TAC-22, about 1,200 feet per second as well. Mojo-22 from Kinetic Suppressors. Three shots. That was awesome. And it's cycling. That's almost as quiet as, as that wad shot we did. Uh -huh. It's pretty dang close. <laughs> that one ricocheted off there. All right. Jesse's girl. It's going to be a 25 minute video. <laughs> arms are getting tired. <laughs> Jesse's girl from Resilient Suppressors with Norma Tac 22. Three shots. <laughs> Next, we got BDE from Primary Weapons. Three shots with the Norma Tac 22. Oh, Can't count sometimes, guys. <laughs> Last three with the CGS group Hydra AL. So this is their aluminum version, guys. This one is a little bit cheaper, but I will tell you, we've ran this on full auto and everything else, and it has held up to everything. So for the price, it's definitely worth looking at. Three shots. <laughs> all right last mag with the rifle here next up we have cci quiets and then we are finishing up this one with winchester super suppressed so these are both subsonic rounds i don't know if we could get much quieter than those norm attack 22s that's pretty dang quiet so three shots with the cgs group 22 and cci quiets that was actually pretty fucking quiet <laughs> And it looks like it cycled. Let's see if it did. Oh, no, it didn't. That sounded like a malfunction. It ejected, but it didn't feed. 
Okay, second shot. <laughs> I watched that round, it just went bloop. <laughs> it had like no power coming out of there. All right, last one. <laughs> That's so fucking cool. Uh, all right, next up, BDE from Primary Weapons. Just watching the shell, just like. It's just like spit out. <laughs> All right, guys. BDE 22 from Primary Weapons. See how this one does with some uh, CCI Quiets. <laughs> that was even quieter. <laughs> Last one, BDE 22, CCI quiets. <laughs> Those things are dropping like 40 feet at 100 yards. <laughs> uh, last but not least, with those CCI quiets, guys, we have the Mojo 22. The CCI quiets might be the actual quietest ones. Those are moving at about 700 feet per second, so it's kind of hard to go under that. If they could make something like this that would cycle those, ultimate varmint killer right there. Three shots, CCI quiets with the Mojo 22. One more. You sure anything's going on? <laughs> Obi, I've heard you fart louder than that. <laughs> I thought I did it on camera. Man, I mouth breathe louder than that. All right, so going in reverse here, these are now the Winchester Super Suppress. These are kind of a newer round to me. Uh, we were sent these to review with these suppressors, so I'm pretty excited to test these out, especially if they'll cycle. So that would be uh, really awesome if they did. So first three with the Mojo 22 and the Winchester Super Suppressed. All right, next up, Jesse's girl with the Winchester Super Suppressed. All right, now next up is the BDE from PWS with the Winchester Super Suppressed. Three shots. are actually cycling now okay we got one stuck in there safety is on we're just not going to put our fingers in front of the barrel we'll be very careful here and the last one is the cgs group hydra Three shots, Winchester, super suppressed. Guess it would help if I had a magnet. Rookie mistake. <laughs> that was luck. <laughs> Maybe not. Definitely louder.
That one skipped. Nice. So from back here, guys, all four cans sound very similar. All are about the same probably in price or within about $100 of each other. Um, you do have a wide variety of 22 cans out there on the market, and we're going to try to get more and more of these to do these kind of tests with so that you have more side-by-side -side comparisons to help make your choice easier. But CGS Group Hydra Aluminum. The BDE-22 from Primary Weapon Systems, the Jesse's Girl from Kinetic Suppressors, and the Mojo, I'm sorry, the uh, Jesse's Girl from Resilient Suppressors, and the Mojo-22 from Kinetic Suppressor. So all four, in my eyes, really good cans on this long gun.